Hello and welcome to the three pillars of DHIS2, the first in a long series of videos on DHIS2. My name is Nicholas Santillo. And I'm Shantria Tram. And we're here from Logical Outcomes. And we're going to look at the core elements, the data dimensions of DHIS2, what it takes to build a report. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are we looking at here, Shandria? Lots of circles. Yeah, so as most of you probably already know, since you're already here, uh, DHIS2 is an open source, highly functioning monitoring and evaluation software program. Yeah. Completely, it's been used for what, 20, over 20 years 20 now? years, being used by dozens of countries uh, around mm -hmm. the world in Asia and Africa, and more and more by nonprofits also in Europe and uh, North, Af North America, I mm -hmm. should say. And even though it was uh, initially built for the health uh, field, mm -hmm. it's it's completely open. You can use it for whatever function it's very, you like. Very, very flexible. So over the last 20 years, uh, it's not only gotten more robust uh, because it comes from the health sector, of course, security is a big deal, but it is very capable of going into any sector, which is uh, most likely um, what you're probably going to be using it for listening to this video. Mm -hmm. um, so. We know it can do a lot of stuff. We're looking at data collection, analysis, reporting, sharing, warehousing. It's super capable. But when you're building something, and when you're implementing uh, the use of this, how do you think about it? What are what are the mm -hmm. cornerstones? What are the things that we can actually hang our, our knowledge on? Because otherwise it becomes very large and unwieldy. Mm -hmm. yeah? And that is how we get to our sort of three core dimensions and, mm -hmm. and what we like to call the three pillars. Mm -hmm. This is what's required to create reports. Yeah, so looking at this quote here, we have, uh, this is an adapted indicator from the USDA. Uh, we've written it as the number of students regularly, which is defined as 80% or more, mm -hmm. uh, attending schools in Ontario Native Reserves in September 2016. Yeah, so let's break this down. The first uh, pillar would be the where. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, it would be schools in Ontario, Native Reserves. Right, so there's a lot of information in there. We have the schools in Ontario, which is a province in Canada, specifically in the Ontario Native Reserves, which are areas in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Then we have the what, number of students regularly attending. Mm -hmm. So this is not just the number of students uh, total that are enrolled in a class, but also the number of students that are attending each class, and we're looking at then, and then an average number over time. And what is that time period? September of 2016. Mm -hmm. So we have a where, we have a what, and we have a when. And when we define this all into DHIS2, it'll then be able to uh, sorry, give us very quickly a report. And that can be in any uh, form that we want. What's really nice about DHIS2, of course, is that once we've defined things like what, where, and when, mm -hmm. you know, schools and Ontario Native Reserves, we can do things like uh, compare which schools, compare the northern schools from the southern schools, or compare the schools and Native Reserves to schools and municipalities. We can right. also look at different months, comparing months against each other, comparing within months, um, and we can look at schools uh, that have more students or less students. The capacities become quite, quite endless mm -hmm. but the key here is we had to define those three things first so before we go off this is the ending basically uh i think that's enough we've gabbled now we have a few <laughs> quizzes for you to see if you've actually been listening at all and uh hope you enjoy the rest and watch more of our videos on youtube or you can find us at logicaloutcomes.net Okay, thanks so much for watching. This has been Shantria Tram. And Nicholas Santillo. If you like more information, feel free to click right there to access the online curriculum. Or feel free to send us an email at info at logicaloutcomes.net and we'll get right back to you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.